Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, one of the things that I hated was the fact that anything could give me a fucking boner. The no reason boners, the NRBs, yeah. dude. I fucking NRBs. Hate, I fucking hated NRBs, that shit, bro. That's a new dude, crypto option. Yeah, <laughs> NRBs, no Yo, reason boners. you all bought some NRBs? <laughs> to the moon, to the I moon, baby. So when I was uh, younger, my parents would have me go to the store, right? <laughs> so, and I'm younger. <laughs> And there'd be some Davis says it. some lascivious women that would walk by. Now, what kind of women? Lascivious. 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 What does that mean? That's Latin. Lascivious. I, I know. I, I think it means like evil. Like. In five, four, three, two, one. Welcome everybody to another episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. We have a very very special guest here that you always see. We have Patrick. T. Crybaby Riley. <laughs> Damn. Shit, have never told me you cried over Damn. somebody you only saw fight twice, Bro. dude. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yeah, no way. Hey, supposed to crocodile tears, hey, fake man. ass tears, bro. Come on. This shit was real, dude. Brandon hey, Moreno's adorable. You, bro. That dude's adorable, bro. How are you gonna act like he's not adorable? He really is. These are my Legos. These are my Legos. <laughs> These are my my Funko Pops. Hey, that Feroza, dude. when's the last time you cried? Uh, you be on a plane watching I Am Sam. I Am Sam fucks mm -hmm. you up, bro. You never seen I Am Sam? That's, that's the movie with uh, Sean Penn. Sean Penn. And that's where they said in Tropic Thunder, don't go full retard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was uh, referencing okay. uh, Sean Penn. But so he Sean plays Penn that role is so good, bro. So good. He's such a good actor, this he's, guy. He's who's retarded in the Sean movie. Penn <laughs> Sean, Sean Penn is. Sean Penn is. Dude, I, and he I, sells it, This bro. is not what I said. I read this quote on an IMDb review. He says he out-retarded the retards in the film. <laughs> I did not say that. But well, that's good acting. But yes. though, very true and very fair. That's how convincing it was. He was retarded so good. the retards. Yes. Also caught El Chapo. What a fucking life this guy's lived, huh? Wait, he well, he did what? Oh, he, yeah. The reason El Chapo got caught, the drug pin, the cartel drug pin, was it was like an episode of South Park. He, for some reason, so El Chapo's notorious fucking number one cartel due to Mexico, blah, blah, blah. For some reason, invites Sean Penn to go interview him. Like, so Sean Penn goes to interview him. For, for some reason, that. it's Sean Penn. He goes to the middle of the jungle oh. in Mexico with this female Mexican actress who's pretty fucking bomb. Of course, uh, when are they not? They're fucking news, news anchors are fine as fuck, too. So fine. What are you going to do? And what so do? they go interview him. They they do, they like take a picture posing. It's Sean Penn and El Chapo. That's Comes their back. shirt. That's the shirt that Connor wears. Yes. That's where it's from, right? So they're like shaking hands. Yeah, like this. The famous picture. And then they like a few weeks later, they catch El Chapo. They like tracked him. Through Sean Penn's through like Sean cell phone? Penn. They were like, wait, somehow Sean, it, it got known that the, the government probably got a hold of the fact that Sean Penn was going to go fucking visit uh, El Chapo. And they were like, okay, well, we're just going to like track you. And they tracked him and then El Chapo Dude, got busted. It was that easy. How is but, Sean Penn? <laughs> why would you invite Sean? He just really liked him as an actor. And he, I bet he liked, liked the, the he female actress. Him he him wanted him. to fuck that girl. The he way was like, you, you fucking out retarded the <laughs> Retarded. What did you say earlier? How it said? <laughs> uh, he, uh, retarded. <laughs> retarded. Retarded. Is that good? Uh, retarded. Once Stop. again, just to save my ass, I did not say that. It was written on the it internet. Was written. It was I'm written. Reading. We're just reading it verbatim. But what a how life. is Sean Penn not dead, bro? That's what yeah. I was thinking. I was how like, how did this they dude not kill not him? Get murked? How is his head not like on a spear somewhere? Because bro? the cartel respects good acting. <laughs> And they're so like, he's fucking untouchable. You guys you, touch him, you, you're going to have a problem with Have me. you seen I Am Sam? Have you seen I Am <laughs> Sam? David cried, and so did I. <laughs> I'm not killing this motherfucker. <laughs> you bet El, I bet El Chapo cried in that movie. When was this? How long ago was this when you cried? So I told the story with Jason Cheney is when I had this nervous breakdown because I was, I was in first class on the plane. And uh, I fell asleep yeah, during the time. first class to do it to you, I guess, right? Yeah. So. Well, I got it by luck. So <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't good. I deserved it. So I got on the plane. And long story short, everybody knows the story now. Fucking most embarrassing moment in my fucking life. I got really drunk. Right. But what happened was I basically fell asleep while they're passing out these iPads. So in first class Hawaiian Air, they give you iPads. And I, I fell asleep and I didn't get an iPad. But I didn't want them to know that I didn't get an iPad Okay, it sounds really stupid as I say the story, but it's just because I wanted them to know that I belonged in fucking first class. Okay. Yeah. So I chose not to get an iPad is what I, I said. I well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're yeah. like, oh yeah, it's whatever. And it's so okay. I, I always get the iPad today. Yeah. Don't want I, the I don't yeah, want it. Yeah, yeah. Don't want it. Because <laughs> I didn't today, want them no. to know that I didn't belong yeah. in first class. Yeah. So I had this dying phone <laughs> and I was watching I Am Sam, but I got so smashed, I cried too much. I, a lot. Like loud crying. Whoa. Like loud crying. <laughs> 
<laughs> like shit like that. You sounded like Sam and I am but, Sam. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. And I, okay, that so was not the movie. <laughs> so you've seen the movie then. No, I but had I mean, come on. earphones on, like earbuds. So I didn't know that I, I was crying so loud until my fucking earbuds ran out of batteries and I heard myself cry. <laughs> And then I looked at the guy right to the right of me, and he's just mortified. He goes, "Oh, you were sitting next Sam? to somebody the whole time, <laughs> bro." Literally one of the worst experiences of my life. Oh my god! And I'm fucking Asian, wow. and I have boogers coming out of my face. Wow! And this dude is just literally in a seat like this, away from me. And I got so fucking Tell drunk. Mine is all Thanks fucking business. Can I probably I suicide, like take the plane over or some shit. <laughs> yep. And I was too embarrassed to ask for tissues, so I just wiped the shit on my sleeve. <laughs> it was one, literally one of the worst experiences of my this life. This guy wow. rides first class. This guy. Yeah, That's this right. Guy. This guy is a, he's and a, I got it by chance. You watched I Am Sam, I guarantee you, if you cried about Moreno, you're gonna I die. Pro I probably I honestly I like I get choked up a lot in movies. Because you have a daughter and this is about a daughter. Oh yeah, for sure. He has a daughter for sure. But I even like in like Goodwill Hunting, when he's like, It's not your fault. Oh. Hey. He's like, What do you mean? He's like, what the fuck are you talking? Hey, hey, it's not your fault. Hey, you no, I, and it's not my fault. What the, what the fuck you mean? It's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, me right there? <laughs> Like, dude, cry. I tried trying not to. The other day, she goes, "Shut the fuck up." Yeah. <laughs> Stop telling me it's not my fucking fault, pussy. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, oh, my bad. Yeah, I dude. You are a pussy, dude. Damn, uh, you cry in movies like that, huh? They, they, I, love I that. get choked up. I do get choked hey, up. Hey, what's a better? I try not to, but I do get choked up. It's stupid shit too. Like stupid. Like what? I don't know why. I don't know. Like even like I don't know. It depends on the movie or whatever. But do you feel like you're sentimental? Yeah, kind of. He said that. He has it so aggressive. <laughs> I know. You said a metal? Hey, you, you said, said a metal? metal, you said fuck, a metal? It's Pirata Nick back again, dude. I know. Dude, get some Vita in your life, nah, dude. Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm sober right now, bro. I'll Bitch. drink when I want to, not when you tell me to. Whoa, Whoa. Yeah. dude. Pirata, oh, Pirata Nick. Nick. Pirata Nick. Yeah. Still on Sets it, dude. boundaries and it's shit. Still on it, dude. So Louis C.K. is in a hotel with you and he's jacking off. What do you do? Oh, what do you okay. say? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I just let him do it. You and let him sit there. And then you quit your comedy career, dude. Bang, bang, bang. What a bitch. And then I go on Facebook and I fucking cancel him, bro. Yeah, you cancel him. All over again. All you think he's still jacking off on people? Oh, for sure. I, on people, probably. On but, people. I, but like, consent, by people. like consenting. In the I bet you there's of consent. People. I bet you there's con like more way. He's learned now. It's probably like with someone he's very comfortable with. Or no, or this. Everybody knows Louis C.K. is the guy that likes to be watched while he's jacking it. So it, everyone's like, hey, I'll watch you. And he goes, like, you could jerk off in front of Tiff. No. You couldn't? No. no. She would call the cops on you. Well, that's fucking <laughs> well, She'd probably weird, be like, bro. what are you doing? If I started, dog. Imagine, look, okay, okay look. Well, I'll say this. When you jack off afterwards, do you feel a little bit of shame at all? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine somebody standing there watching you jack off, bro. You guys feel shame? Sometimes. Well, like, I feel sometimes, accomplished. I'm sometimes like, I'm like, bro, I, I do it. it. But like, you know, the act of jacking off is, bro, this is what you think. If somebody saw me jack off right now, You'd you'd want to jump off a bridge. It's probably it's just <laughs> it's never it's never your best moment. A, but two, yeah, two, that's, two, that's two, the best way But the thing it. is, is it, it, for me, I feel sh uh, if if it's like a really like well deserved, like well needed, like all right, I needed to do this, you right? Like this is for nut. like mental health. I don't feel shame at all. I'm like that was that was like mental. That you was like clear your when, head. what do they call it? Like taking a day for self care. Self care. Self -care. Yeah, yeah, that's called self care. But like when it's like uh, just an indulgent, like eating too much chocolate kind of thing, jerk off. You know yeah. what I'm talking? Where it's just too much. Were you doing just because you're bored? It's like I'm. Yeah, it's like I could I could have been doing something productive. How long does I'm it like, take you to ah. jack off though, bro? It sounds like it's taking a big chunk out of your day. <laughs> hey, how, how long, long does it I take like to? Admit. Okay, this is a real question, and I, I'm pretty sure ladies don't even ask about this. Yeah, how long does it take for you to nut from beginning to end when you jack off? It depends when you're in practice and you're in rhythm, bro. And you've been you're you're hitting on a regimen. Actually, I don't have no idea. No, I have no concept of time when I'm jacking off, actually. Give us a guesstimation, you bitch. <laughs> time is an illusion, dude. Hey, time is an illusion, bro. Time is a construct, dog. Okay. Yeah. Hey, how, how about you? How long does it take you to bust a nut, At dude? At least 35 seconds to maybe two minutes, depending really? on what I'm thinking about. Wow. Right? If I haven't jacked off in a very long time or haven't had sex in a long time, yeah. it's pretty fucking easy. Have you got, no, no, but... <laughs> But, but the like thing that. is, but, yep. but here's the thing is like, it's, it, I see what you're saying, but like, it feels better if you prolong it. Oh, I'm just doing it as a task so I can start getting to work again. Yeah, you do oh, it yeah. and then you clear it. See, that's the thing is like, I take my time. And oh, I you like, sensual. Feel, no yeah, wonder you no. cry in movies. I asked him, bro. I you lit candles too? I'd be crying and He's drinking He's like 40 virgin, bro. You turn the heat. <laughs> 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 you really take your sweet time? Yeah. 
I do. I take care of you. <laughs> okay, that's, right. you know, that's why I asked. He was, the way he was talking about jacking off was like it was a whole thing. Like it, it was a exactly. production. Well, no, it's, not, it's not a production. I just, I okay, this is what you I do. You don't film yourself when you jack go, off? This is what I do. You? I have a process. I go like this. I go, I look, first of all, I look at the new, like, what's up? What's going on out there, right? What's like, popular right Let's check the front pages. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. And then I like go, I like these five or four videos, yeah, right? And then you boom, narrow boom, it down. I narrow it down. I go, okay, this one looks cool. It's cool. But then you need, like, you can't jump right in. Like, when you see porn, like, look. There's like a the really good ones, like the, the the ones where you're like, damn, I really want to see what's going on in this video. But then there's others like you don't you, you always eat an appetizer before you get to that. You know, okay. what I mean? my <laughs> man, my man said, yo, hold on a second. My man said he needed a moose bouche. He said, yo, give me my moose bouche and appetizer, my three course meal. Yeah, bro, don't hit that you, with the you, dessert. You, you does a five course masturbation. You can't, you can't session, jump yo. straight into the, the the main entree right off the bat. You gotta like kind of get Talk about get it. it going. You gotta yeah. like get the little okay. like you gotta start like you gotta break it down. You gotta a little sensitive and then you jump into the big one into the good one and then but then there's four good ones so then you're like which one is the finisher because i want to see all these a clip at least when do you go to pieces. work this sounds like, this <laughs> sounds like a this solid so time like two you, hours it sounds like you're it sounds like it you're, you're so producing time. a beat and you're like all right i have to in the back of this like, i'm like yeah, 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 yeah. you're you listening to like see. samples you're like okay this would be good on the hook actually <laughs> actually hold on, let me take that I'll, Bro. I'll take it away this is the vocal drop we're gonna do at the beginning of the song like that's what it sounds like you're piecing everything like a collage hey i don't play games <laughs> when your boy gets his nut, he gets his nut, bro. But see, that's my problem. If I'm doing this too much, it, it does take too. Like I'm like this. I gotta do. So give shit. us the time, bro. He's been holding his daughter time. hasn't had lunch or, breakfast <laughs> or dinner, breakfast. She's just sitting in the uh, papa. Please. Well, she's like, Daddy's collaging. I need time. <laughs> Daddy's fucking scrapbook oh masturbating right God. now. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> <laughs> This mother bro. like a scrapbook masturbating, bro. That's what it's called, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Bro, he's a pros and cons list for all the videos. Okay, I like this part about you this video. It. You gotta do it. Honestly, you gotta do it. Honestly, you gotta do it. You don't, but I, that's what you know I what do. it is. Mine, I shit you I respect not. it though. I but respect honestly, it. when you nut though, it's like yeah, you're, you're a kiss. masturbation sommelier. I'm a Somalian pirate. You <laughs> you should have a service where you're like, hey man, I want to know the perfect video to nut from. And you're like, all right. And then you acquire all these different videos that fits this person's need. But you know, the, I, but honestly, I'm sure I, there's I, a market I, I for really, that. Honestly, that's a great idea. I never thought There's actually that. a market for that. I'm but, sure there is. But even like when you're having sex too, it's like it feels better if you just kind of like hold off. Like hold off till you just really can't. Yeah, yeah but nuts. that's sex though. This is just masturbation. It's just, <laughs> it's just, just for do the, the tool. D, bro. Yeah. This but is that's the craziest thing, thing like, I've ever crazy. heard. Yeah. I jack I off know. as fast as possible so I can start getting shit done. I jack off so fast also because I don't, I want to beat the reality that I'm touching my own dick. Yeah, so that's true. I'm trying to get rid of that reality as fast as possible. I, I'm more of David's camp. I, I'm I'm there to just to get it done and move on. But I do respect the self care. I do respect. Self-care. It's like self care. I do respect the fact that Take you go out of your way and you're like, hey man, this is just the process, baby. This is just the way when, it goes. When I do this super quick nut, like just to get it out of the way, because I'm like that too, where I'm like, I feel like I'm, I I want to do something, but I'm too distracted. I'm like, I just got to get this out of the way. But when I when I jerk off quick like that, then I'm like, fuck, I could that could have been way better. And then I, it makes me mad that uh, I wasted that 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 you wasted that, that nut. nut. You have a you you're sentimental with your nuts. I mean, hey, I guess this I feel all, some yo, type you of way about my sense, nuts. Though, hey, yo. Nick, this is all making sense. Remember that time this fool came to the podcast two hours late? He was jacking. <laughs> this fool was jacking off. Bro, <laughs> you just got <laughs> caught. Bro, this fool said, I got a triple A. I got to get away from Lies. the triple A. The triple, he doesn't have a triple A card, bro. Show us the triple A card Let right now. Let me see what club member you got, bro. I don't got one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you Bro. lying son of a bitch. This one had a triple nut is what he did, dude. Dog. It, I, I hope that nut was worth it, bro. It was. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. I had yeah, no idea you were so meticulous with it. Well, yeah. it's just, it's just, he was I, locked I, in I his own like, car. You know what it is? It's, it's, it's a, it's a craft. And uh, it's just taking years. <laughs> yeah, not everybody can be Jedi's, bro. We're not Jedi's. Bro, like, it's we just, would never I don't know. Understand. It's just that's how. It, but that's you, the thing is, like, when I when I I have to if I'm doing it like a well deserved one, I'm like, oh, this is cool. If I have the time, like, say I have a long time, but like if it's like a like I, I'm, I'm it's just too much. Like if I have to rush it, then I'm like, why the fuck am I even wasting my time? And then two, if I'm doing it too much, it's like, damn, I'm like this is taking too much time. What I gotta constitutes stop doing this. as a well deserved nut? Yeah, that's a really good question. 
like been working a lot, like haven't yeah. had any, t- like haven't had a day off. It, like, it's been a while since you got that nut. It been a while. It's been a while. What's a while though? Calendar year? I don't know. No. Couple weeks. <laughs> I, it depends. Like nah. a week and a half. I try to push it like yeah, like a week, yeah. week and a half. It, it, that's I think that's something you do for yourself a weekly basis. I'm so shocked, dude. I never knew that there was somebody out there that cares that much about the masturbation. I don't. I, it's not that I care. It's just that it's like it feels so much better when I do it like that. It's really? like if I can nut and feel like like set, like the quick nut, it feels good. But it's like, uh, yeah, that was nice. Or it could be like, damn, it could feel like that. Or you're like, I bet, <laughs> I bet this is more common with ladies. <laughs> I bet, I bet how like girls get their nut. I bet that's more common with them. When I wonder just, if a bunch of girls are like, yeah, Pat, you right. That's how yeah, that's I don't right. You know what? I don't think, I don't think, well, maybe, maybe it is, but I just know I've, cause I've talked to girls about it and especially girls that use vibrators. Like for them, it's like usually pretty like, and they're like, ah, and then it's like over, but there's mm. probably some girls that are like, that like that, that they like, like the that process. Too. They like the yeah. curation of the videos that they watch. Yeah. yeah. I remember when I was a kid, one of the things that I hated was the fact that Anything could give me a fucking boner. The no reason boners. The NRBs, yeah. dude. I fucking NRBs. Hate, I fucking hated NRBs, that shit. Bro. That's a new crypto I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, the NRBs. No Yo, reason boner. You all bought some NRBs? <laughs> to the moon. To the I moon, ha- baby. So when I was uh, younger, my parents would have me go to the store, right? Stout. <laughs> and I'm younger. <laughs> And there'd be some, how Davis says it. some lascivious women that would walk by. Now, what kind of women? Lascivious? Lascivious. lascivious. What does that mean? <laughs> That's Latin? Lascivious. I, I, know, I, I think it means like evil sound, like. or some shit like that. Little little loose women. Let's look at you. Let's look at that. That's yours, yeah. That's like, so, that is e pluribus unum. E pluribus unum. <laughs> lascivious. <laughs> Yo, they would come through be lascivious sexual women walking, looking for hair pieces, looking fine as fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right? you're and right, would, dude. And I'm fucking like 13 or 14 right, right there. Uh-huh. It says, uh, oh, sorry goes. to cut you off, feeling or revealing an overt and often offensive sexual desire. But dude, yeah. lascivious. Offensive sexual desire. My guy. And okay, I sorry, just remember ahead. I would have to like, my, my mom would be like, watch the customers. I, like, I have to go to the bathroom real quick. It's only because your boy had a raging boner. And I just had to knock one out before yeah. I could Damn, focus. Damn, in the Cause bathroom. Because I, I, I would like jack off in my parents' store and just go right into the toilet. Whoa. And yep. then I, just do it as fast as possible yeah. so I could concentrate on them to make sure that they're not fucking jacking shit. Yeah. That's wild. But they were so fucking fun. You see the way he put his hand up on the wall? Yeah. Was like, like, it was just like this. He's like, Stop. shit. Stop. Oh. <laughs> And my mom's like, what are you doing? I was like, I got to make sure I watch the customers. That's why I have to do this. Yeah. Oh, and they were so fine. Some of the girls that walk in the store, man, they were fucking mm. A+. Plus. It was banging. Mm. They A1. were fucking fine. How old were you at this time? A1 steaks out. Oh, this was probably when I was like 14 to like 17. Mm. Yeah, bro. Because you just can't control them when you're younger, dude. That nah. was like the worst part is when when the dick wanted to go up, it wanted it to happens. go up. It and happens. there was nothing that you can do about it. Yeah, it's you true. Could, Talk to it like, hey, don't fucking embarrass me. And he goes, what'd you say? And he just stands the fuck up and looks you right in your eye. I hated that shit, dude. That's yeah. a problem. That's a problem in every young man's life, yo. Yeah, just everywhere in a young man's life. Yep. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, yeah. In all aspects of life. You know what I mean? Just everywhere in a young man's bro. life. I still can't believe you're a scrapbook masturbator, dude. Yeah, bro. I'll never move I cry past in that. movies. I scrapbook masturbate. No, the crying in movies not the problem. Yeah, we all cry. I'm yeah, we to all think. cry. I'm you know what I mean? Think. The fact that you came two hours late to the podcast because you're jacking off. <laughs> well, honestly, basically. it was David's fault because he got into your scheduling and it was a scheduling conflict. Yeah, on your part. you didn't know I was. I so had it was, was kind of it was kind of on you, bro. Like, I apologize. It was kind of on you. Fucking Schedule silk better, robe bro. and candles and shit. My bad. <laughs> yeah. I didn't fucking know. But I stand up. I stand. I still came in a silk robe. Hey guys, sorry, I'm late. No, it's like, what did you do? Dude, Why I are you stand sweating? up on my bed. I stand up on my <laughs> bed. And jerk off. I'm coming. Get up. <laughs> Yo, have you guys ever jacked off when you were taking a hot shower and then you almost passed out? I've definitely jacked off during the hot showers, but never, never almost passed. Yeah, me neither. But that's crazy. Huh? <laughs> what? That's crazy. Hey, let's talk about the topic today, guys. No, 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 no. Wait, no. Wait, intrigue. <laughs> intrigue. No, wait, intrigue. Why did you yeah. pass out? And I thought that was common knowledge, but apparently it's not. Okay, wait, so wait, wait, how hot is the water, bro? How do we? Why'd you almost pass out? Yeah, what are we talking about? I've been in hot. Whose podcast is this? It's steamy. But I'm like, damn. You got this. Never happened. Not almost passed, but it's. I, I'm definitely hot. Fucking showers. Hey, I'll My say back this. Is Be- red. Before you explain yourself. Yeah. Why? What? I know David, bro. When he does something, he does it to the nth degree. Like he takes it over the top. When he's training, my boy trains hard, yo. Almost too hard. So when he beats his meat in the shower, he's probably overexerting himself. It sounds like you need heat to get stroke. It sounds like you need to drink more water before you you shower. I and thought that beat was a off. common thing. That doesn't happen. Like I'm, when it's super hot and shit, you don't get lightheaded. No. Damn, man. Hey. 
So this wraps up this episode. <laughs> of the I counted below. It's only been twenty minutes. No. How, how do you guys jag off, dude? You need to get into scrapbook masturbating, bro. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> dude, this dude, dude, hey, don't get this guy a whole new bro. thing. I got bro, so much shit to do. People are on the ASMR. There you go. That's a whole new channel right there. Oh, dude, the sound, the, the sound of jacking off is weird. No, no, not that. Just like the whole scrap the process. It's like, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Mm. It starts like that. Boom, boom, boom. I'm in a robe. Blah, you know blah, what's blah. the best though? When like what's up? No, this is what they want, and then you just keep, you just keep, you know, you just bring. It's a whole thing. I feel like there's a market for that. Oh, you, you be. I said that was for you, bro. That's your service that you give out to other people. Just like a like you a scrapbook for them. You give them a playlist of uh, yeah. yeah. This is a playlist, so it's the uh, amuse bouche, the appetizer, the fucking main course, the uh, second course, and the des as as art. Yeah, dude, it could be like Playboy after. Like there, Hugh Hefner used to have this TV channel, like Playboy After Dark, and he would like. He'd come. He'd come out in a robe and like you'd go up an elevator and like, hey, it's time to hang out with like Frank Sinatra and some Playboy bunnies. So it could be mm. like that, and then I could just hook you up with a playlist. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. What you, do you like? You do what a short like? little quiz at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you'd be like, oh, I could help this person, and I know exactly what I could show. Yeah, and we just class up the joint a little bit. You know, yeah. it gets a bad rap. One we of my favorite things, things <laughs> yeah. because I don't watch porn as much as I used to, is when I like scrolling through something real quick, just to jack off real fast. And then I'll see a porn video. I I forgot about completely and it feels brand new all over again. Yeah. That is the best. Yeah. yeah. When you revisit it and you're like, oh, I'm like, man. whoa, I, feel I like a kid again. I didn't, I couldn't remember the title or the name, but look, it's there it here is. and it came up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Christmas is here. And I jack off in 10 seconds. Synchronicity, baby. Oh, that's that's what, what it is, it is baby. It is. Manifest destiny, dog. <laughs> yeah, what, <laughs> destiny. what do you watch? I don't care. Like, uh, oh. to be honest with you, oh. if I see a fine ass fucking woman walk by, guess mm. what? I got what I need. I'm yeah. watching that. That's it's just like, I look at her and she goes, what are you looking at? <laughs> Too late, bitch. It's like that Patrice O'Neill thing. It's, yeah. it's literally that shit. I'm so <laughs> fucking visual and shit. I could look at the finest woman ever and be like, guess what, bitch? Bang, Locked bang. Locked in. Spank, bang. <laughs> Done. Wow. I go into the bathroom of my parents' store. I drive all the way to Sacramento. <laughs> and I jack off in the same spot. Oh. And I'm oh. holding the wall. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it feels familiar. <laughs> 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 I don't, wow. I don't need much at all. Yeah, your boy just needs one visual, one imagination. I'm done. That's kind of nice. I'm yeah. locked in the I cabin. Kinda... And for some reason, this girl and I were locked in the cabin and we have six hours before somebody can save us. The only way that we can make it out is if we get butt naked, get into a fucking uh, sleeping bag that we had to stitch together with one zipper. Yeah, boom. 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 Classic wow. scenario. Yeah. I love it. The classic scenario. <laughs> Either yeah. we fuck or we die. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what it is. That's it. Sorry. That's it. Guess we're gonna fuck. And it was her idea, yeah. not yeah. mine. Uh -huh. Consensual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consent. And then you're reluctant. You're Consent. like, I don't know. I don't know if I should do this. Yeah. Doesn't feel right. Yeah, but yeah, yeah you're like, doesn't I don't feel know. right. I don't know. I can't. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I feel like we should get married first. And then she's like, No, 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 mm -hmm. David, we have to do this for our lives. Guess like, what? In this sure? scenario, Mariel's already dead. Yeah, yeah. Right. boom. Yeah, yeah. So I'm single. Okay. Well, yeah. obviously though, you're she very has sad. You're very sad about it. My girlfriend died. She's like, Hey, but we need to fuck you. Where the world's gonna end. Yeah. And you're like, But this disrespect my girlfriend to be like, Your girlfriend would want you to do this. Boom. Boom. Start sucking your dick. And then there Meryl's ghost, would Meryl's ghost make it weird? Uh, no, she's mm. actually floating and her arms across. She goes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you have my blessing. <laughs> You're like, dude, Meryl's so cool. <laughs> she, I miss you. I know. Yeah. She goes, my job is done here. She's like, <laughs> she, she's like she goes, David, you must do this. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I wish, so, I wish someone made this porno, dude. It would be I so know. fucking if you're hilarious. Watching and you're a porn producer, yo, make Please this shit, make yo. this porno. Hey, I That'd don't even great. want a percentage. Just make it so I can watch it. Yeah, it'd bro. be great. We need, to see, we need to see this And the porno. protagonist has to be a guy that looks similar to David. Not exactly, just similar. Yeah. That's fucking it. That is the best fucking porno for, fucking ever. For just <laughs> And for it has world. to be made by the, the, the one porn company that does the super cinematic shit, dude. <laughs> I forgot yeah. what With the B-roll, with the cool B-roll, and then like the drone shots. Yeah. Over the city, the yeah. unnecessary drum shots over the city. Yeah. I forgot what that was it's called. For the B-roll, and the soundtrack the is "We Are the World." <laughs> we are is the that children. A real thing? <laughs> what, what is you that mean? a real thing? You know that song? That's tight. You dude. know about that word? Dude, I, we should be porn directors, <laughs> I think, dude. I think we Damn, got a history, we just bro. Made a porno, dude. Dude. Hey, it's like the easiest thing to make. Someone should make it. I think that's a million dollar. That's that's bro. That's amazing. I don't think porn directors make a lot of money though, do they? Well, it's I don't a, know. part of it is like, how do they make money? Because doesn't everything end up on the internet? Like probably advertisement free? and shit. Mm. I, I bet you the ads. Because like you still go like on Pornhub, there's still ads, you know. So um, who's clicking on those fucking ads though, yo? Bro, there's some real creeps out there. They're, Who they're, goes to the conventions? People go pay tickets to go to these conventions to be yeah. fucking weirdos. But my whole thing is like, who? What is the market? There's like a new supplement that makes you come more. It's like who's buying this? Oh, you're who's talking about uh, Peter more? North. He was he was. Um, 
listen, Peter North, I don't know too many like porn names, but Peter North was known as the guy who was the come, OG, bro. Come on ladies like a motherfucker. That's he grew was, up watching that dude. Yeah, so kids, there was Peter you know, North. There was children. Two, <laughs> children dog. two major porn stars at the time was uh Jenna Jameson and Peter North. <clears throat> and this is like late early nineties. And you know, I think Jenna Jameson now is like a mogul. She's like a porn star mogul. Oh yeah. Like she capitalized mm -hmm. on the industry and she became a boss in this shit. Well, Peter North, <clears throat> he, I remember people were making jokes about this all the time, but he was selling pills that would like multiply your cum load, like a ridiculous, amount. I'm not sure if oh. it worked. But yeah. Well, how and what, but why do you want to? Yeah. yeah. For the real question is why, why do you want to come more? But I guess for some guys, I'm sure there's some guys that just come a little bit and you think it's embarrassing for them. That's like, just because they're jacking off too much. Yeah. You yeah, just got to let it chill for a couple days. Yeah. Let yeah, the dude, boys recount. A couple days. Yeah. <laughs> even a day, yeah, honestly, it comes day, back like fine. pretty good. Yeah, a day. But a day? <laughs> I'm glad a day. Two days. I mean, saying, yeah. a day? You just need to rest six days and you'll get like a good amount. You'll guys. get a lot. Yeah, six days, you'll get a lot. <laughs> Refill you get the straight, the straight, it almost bow. hurts. <laughs> yeah, like a super soaker. It's it like when you're heart. pregnant and then all of a sudden your milk is collecting breast milk and then you just, yeah. just start squirting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. actually science, guys. That's yeah. fucking, science. I know science. Common misconception. People don't think that's real. It's a real phenomenon. Um, but yeah, one, yeah. who wants to come more? Well, I, we solved that question. But who, does this shit even work? Like, how does it even work? There's just a lot of weird, like, fetishes. When I was in, uh, what, psych minor? I, there was this one specific part of the course that we we're taking, which was like uh, like perversion and sex and some shit, mm -hmm. right? But there's shit, some shit called what plushophilia, where people like to dress up as dolls and teddy bears and fuck each other. There was this one weird one called pyophilia, which take a guess. They get hard or fucking horny or wet, wet when you throw pies in each other's faces, and wow. that's the sex. I I thought it was gonna be different. I thought it was gonna be American <clears throat> Pie style. Like, no, 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 no. You take a pie, a pie, and you throw it. And they they did a study where they asked them what is the part that makes you like so aroused. It's the part where the pie filling gets stuck in the hair. That's the shit that makes them horny. I have a question. Why? Do you think people <laughs> like like this? Shit? What the fuck? Yeah. Do you think people get into this stuff because they realize it's a thing? Like once you put a title on it, do you think it's it, it's more likely for people to be like, oh shit, like I'm into that, versus if there wasn't even a name or a community at all, like you think people would still be doing this shit? I don't, I don't know, know, man. A good question. Some shit that fucking turns people on is just different, dude. Like that's true. Shrimping, yeah. which is where you suck on toes. That's what it's called. It's called that's what it's called. Shrimping? called shrimping. Did not know that. Yep. Why? Because like <clears throat> the toes represent the shrimp. Like I shrimps? guess. I guess it looks like the head of the shrimp or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying it stuff. It makes sense. It makes sense. This I is literally. It. I'm on board. I'm on board. These three <laughs> things is what I remember from college, and that's all I remember. Hey, what do you think it's gonna be like for kids <clears throat> growing up in this day and age? Because you could access porn whenever. They get desensitized, man. Yeah. But for you sure. know about guys who have. Uh, porno addictions mm -hmm. they watch porn so much and i'm not talking about every day i'm talking about breakfast nonstop. lunch dinner non-stop to the point where their idea of sex becomes porn and they only can get sexually aroused by these extremities like this extreme shit mm. yeah so they don't have sex with their partners very well they can't even get a hard on when they fuck an actual human being right crazy. and i say this because i know i knew somebody I met like one that. for the first time yeah isn't it fucking crazy it's weird i yeah. didn't i didn't think I didn't, I never thought I would ever meet someone with that issue, but like, you know, I could understand how, you know, that stuff happens. Cause I'm sure it's a slippery slope. Like you get, you start watching all the time and then it becomes your fucking norm. And like, that's how you deal with things, you know, but it is a crazy <laughs> thing to think about that. Like, dude, I, I just had this random fucking memory. My first girlfriend that I had, I remember <clears throat> cause I used to watch porn. Right. But this girl was very demure. She was very elegant wasn't into sexual perversion shit, right? And, you know, I was a virgin at the time, but, you know, your boy was watching an excessive amount of porn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? And What's I excessive, was, though? Huh? Well, I mean, when you're young, like, you're trying to watch that shit every day. Yeah. Non-stop, all porn. the fucking time. And that shit was on a 56K modem, so, you know, that fucking picture took a while to come up. You were always, <laughs> like, having a porn download in the background. Yeah. Like, back in the day, like, when you, had, when you had, yeah, when you had LimeWire and Torrents, like, it would, it would take, like, three days. Kazaa, yeah. baby. Kazaa, that's the one. dude. I never used Kazaa. Kazaa. Because you're a loser. Continue. <laughs> you have no friends. Nobody loves you. Bang. Go. <laughs> Move on from this, huh? Go, loser yeah, guy. I don't, don't want to talk about this anymore. We would, we, would, we would get one video and rewatch that shit so much yeah. as it took fucking forever to get porn. Wow. That's just, just, you guys are so blessed. And sometimes you would download porn and then you would play it 
and this file is not supported by a computer. Oh, oh dude, that ah. shit. And you're trying to look up the plugins. What about plugin do I need? I need to get this nut, bro. Like, yeah. you're, you're trying to solve this problem, but you would dude, never that get shit, it. Dude, that shit used to piss me off. Do you guys remember yeah. the website Milf Hunter? I do. Okay. I loved it. I never when saw it. I was that. a never kid. Never saw it. You never mm -hmm. saw it. So there was this guy. He would go around and just fuck everyone's mom. He was the Milf Hunter. He was the Milf yeah, Hunter. Yeah, he would fuck And that was the whole shit. That was his thing. required no creativity. I remember as a kid, like, watching that shit, and I'd be like, I'd be like, there's no way he fucks all the time. And this is what I thought. And I was like, where are the videos of him like going up to these ladies and then getting rejected? Like, this is this is bullshit. Like, yeah, this uh, and, and also, too, I was like, how does not people like more people not know this guy? Like, he's fucking everyone's moms. Yeah, like, yeah. I just I yeah, thought it was real. I thought it was real. I thought I was it was like, real, too, before. Oh, and sometimes I would feel like bad. I was like, yo, that's someone's mom, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yo, this is fucked hey, up. Honestly, kinda. it could have still been somebody's mom. It probably is. In real Dude, life. That's yeah. true. Hey, you, I never thought of it that way, yeah, man. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for, for yeah, showing yeah, me that yeah, perspective. Yeah. There is. There, <laughs> man, that's real is, cool of you, man. That's real cool of you. <laughs> there is a company. <laughs> fuck, I can't remember the name, but I. This podcast is brought to you by Fiverr. If you are looking for a network of on demand freelance talent, look no further. Whether you're launching your first business, scaling your current business, or in need of extra support from graphic design, copywriting, marketing, film editing, you name it, you can find the best help you need on Fiverr. Now I use Fiverr whenever I need a quick logo or graphic done. Fiverr always has my back. It's super easy to contact freelance work and get precise deadlines from reliable help. You don't need to do everything yourself. That's dumb. Stop wasting your time trying to fill every role when you can hire freelancers who can get it done for you while you focus on the stuff you need to get done. It's super important. And yes, it's that easy to get the help you need. So check out Fiverr.com and receive 10% off your first order by using my code GENIUSBRAIN. Find all the digital services you need in one place at F-I-V-E-R-R.com code GENIUSBRAIN. Again, that's Fiverr.com code GENIUSBRAIN. There was a couple of guys who had this company where they were doing the scenario where it's a girl's first time doing porn ever. Mm. I don't know what the what the series is called per like se. Like casting couch shit like some that? Shit, some shit like that, but it's not casting couch. That's like the OG one, right? Yeah. That's like from back in the day when I used to jack off frequently. But <laughs> this that one- couch, boy. That black <laughs> couch, bang, so bang, bang. So this guy who used to create this stuff, and it wasn't just him, it was, a, you know, whatever, the, the videographer, the director, and whatever the company is, it's like three or four guys. But a, a couple of them went to jail recently oh, for like shit. 20 years. For what? For, I guess, like, They're probably like fibbing, huh? for fucking duping women into yeah. doing porn, like, and forcing them to have sex. How? 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 They would, like, they would, I, I don't know what they would do. I'm not, I don't want to go ahead and spread rumors, but it was some, I, I'm not, I don't think they were drugging them or whatever, right? I will. This is what I'll do. This is what I'll say. This is what I bet happens, right? The girl goes there, right? And then she's getting cold feet, and then she kind of doesn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. And then they just fucking keep prodding at them prodding or whatever and, and then gas almost, I don't know what almost to the point where they kind of like force them to do that shit yeah and reluctantly obviously yeah but to the point where they, they i'm sure they do anything they can because it's like okay we, get, we gotta shoot these videos because like at the end of the day like whether it's as dark as it is mm -hmm. it's still like they still gotta shoot this content they gotta get they gotta get these videos out and shit so i'm sure also in their mind they're just like yo let's we gotta get this we gotta get Dude, this there shot. Was, we gotta get this shot there was and these poor girls are yeah. victims of it you know there was this thing going around. It's the same well, type of series. There was this thing going around on Reddit. It was huge. But it was this guy who was either in the Marines. He's about to get deployed. He's standing next to this really cute girl. Oh, he goes, I know exactly my baby, blah, 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 blah. But there's a video of her getting fucked. It was that company. Oh, that's the company that... That was the company that got sued. Wait, so this guy was getting deployed and the girl ended up that doing took porn. a picture with was on this well, website. Just getting piped. And she was fine, too. She's really She's cute, bomb. dude. Oh and so God. it's like me and my man, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, yeah, everybody's like, yo, I know that girl. That's like my favorite video. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And this dude goes off into the middle, gets deployed like in like Af Afghanistan. 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 Hey, so like that whole shit about when guys go to the military and the girls just get piped out by everyone, that's like a real thing, that's right? So foul. I remember they made a movie about that shit with Toby Maguire. Oh yeah, Jarhead. Yes. Is, Wait, is, is that what that's about? No, that's Jake Gyllenhaal. Who's Toby Who's, Maguire? Is Spider Man. I, I think Jake Gyllenhaal was in that movie. They're brothers okay. in this movie. I just remember there a Marine movie where some lady sends a tape of her fucking some other dude to the guy Jesus, that's in Iraq dude. or whatever. Worst oh, night. I think that Worst was dark. But, but I think uh, this movie that I'm talking about was like he gets deployed. His wife starts sleeping with his brother or some shit. Hell who's yeah. also a military guy, and then they they like I forgot how the movie ends, but, but some, because, something bad. But happens. because they have Jesus, to, that's pretty because, bad already. Yeah, <laughs> because they have to, because the brother was killed. 
in a war, in a gunfight. In a so gunfight. Yeah. in mm. order to, to to fucking heal their hurt, they have to have sex, they right? Have fuck, and then yeah. his ghost comes in and they go, I give you my blessing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta save the world. Every, yeah, every yeah. film that we direct yeah. ends with a ghost that goes, I give you my blessing. <laughs> Fuck her, my like, I'm tired of these ghosts, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What's with this fucking ghost porn shit, dude? <laughs> it's ghost porn. It yeah. has nothing to do with it at all. It's like a fucking a murder DPN mystery. production, David Patnick. <laughs> DNP, bro. DNP, baby. I think we're on to something, dog. Fuck podcasting. Let's yeah, I'm telling you, we're going to be fucking make zero dollars. DNP, dude. dude. People watch that shit. Are you crazy? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I really think Hell they yeah. would. Yeah. Actually, yeah, you're right. People watch that shit. I have to fuck you. I can't forget my brother. He died. Well, guess what? We could be one. Just enter this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Done, dude. Dang. How good is that fucking That's shit? That's perfect. Yeah. We'll make me, bro. I think we'd be millions. We'll make Let's fucking so many Fast pennies. Fast yeah. three weeks, we're all in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Fuck. But yeah, those they just made some dumbass porno, bro. They, went, they got arrested. I think they convicted the guy who uh, <laughs> was in the porn. So he's the guy that's having sex with the girl. I think he's the first one to go to jail. Oh, shit. And I think it was like 20 years. It was a lot. Wow. Oh, fuck. So, so rape? I guess. It has what? to be rape. These fucking scumbags, dude. They're scumbags. Because hey, how come motherfuckers like, like some rapists, they just be getting out, bro? What is that know. about? But they they also did a video with it was a huge scandal and I we did this on JK News. Um and this is why I saw some of the videos was because Miss Delaware was on there. She was like Miss Teen like Miss Universe or some shit. Yeah, she was Miss Delaware. She won that shit and then um she was supposed to either go to Miss Universe or whatever. Uh, watch the JK News episode, but they found out because of the porn, and she did, she vehemently denied it wasn't her. But clearly, it's you. It's she's you. like, it's me, Miss Delaware. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting piped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's just like, yeah, I kind of needed the money or some shit like that, and then she just gets fucking wrecked, like piped down. But that company gained a lot of fame because of that video of that because Miss Delaware was on there, wow. and it was a huge story. Yeah, but they found out that they're fucking scumbags. Because in our mind, we know that this is supposed to be fake and set up. Like, these are, like, clearly they're porn sure, stars. Right, yeah. But people kind of play with the imagination that they're not, so it's a turn on or whatever. Yeah. But everybody's assuming, or if you're smart enough, that they are porn stars, but they're not. These girls got duped. These guys are fucking trash bags. Mm. Yeah, because it's, there is a whole genre of, like, making them seem random, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, you never see them in other pornos, right? Like I don't these know. girls? Yeah, I'm I don't assuming, know. I'm assuming I don't know. they that usually they do are. one offs, right? Like, well, because like when you sometimes when you watch porn, like I remember it'll be like my first time and I'm 18 and they clearly look like they're 36 and destroyed. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Hey, do better. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, come on. Yeah. You came in the fucking scene with a cum stain on the back of your head. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> here for the second shoot of the day. Yeah. yeah. So we're, I've you know, seen you in, in other shit. In our mind, we're thinking everything is consensual, but these fucking scumbags were like coercing these girls to have sex. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm sure that happens a lot though, right? You know, one of the biggest reasons sure, why yeah. I actually like reduce the amount of porn that I'm watching. With sex trafficking? Well, it, I watched this, uh, this doc on sex trafficking and it was the saddest fucking thing if i showed you guys you would probably you would reduce your porn amount by like 90 percent. i don't really watch porn bah lies i Anyways, swear i don't hey people who say that watch the sickest porn yeah, ever right, 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 this right, guy right. watches Gang bangs uh horses and, and ladies oh yeah yeah, yeah Mr. that's the what's, sickest what's, shit? The, what's the thing called look at him fake stutter we saw the real <laughs> stutter dude uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, i don't really watch porn anymore bro yeah it's, uh. it's not as i mean definitely so i watched this doc where this um this guy went to asia i forgot whether it was thailand or china or whatever it was right but it was the saddest fucking thing because he's trying to save these young girls who are being sex trafficked and he has like a hidden camera you see it all in the night of dark it was like a doc series but this guy, he goes in to whatever, get his dick sucked, quote unquote. Really, he's just trying to save these girls. Mm. And these girls Probably just- interview him and shit. Dude, got his young... dick sucked first and then he's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. He's like, all right, time nah, to save you. Nah, we got to help you out, I guess. Here but we this, go. <laughs> but this girl, like this young girl is in there and he's Damn. trying. she's trying to undress him and he's crying. Like, he's, he's crying? He's crying. Crying because he's just like he's seen all this crazy. Yeah, and shit she's like, before, do you? She, she's basically asking like either. Pussy, bro. It's been a while, right? but <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. But he was asking like she was asking him if she wants to like suck his dick or whatever, and he's just like crying his eyes out, bawling because he has a daughter and he sees this shit and he's like trying to like save this girl. And after that, I was like, porn reduced by like ninety percent. That's why I stopped <laughs> watching porn is because I have a daughter, bro. <laughs> You're supposed to look this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah i have a daughter bro 
Yeah, I don't know. I have a daughter, but... <laughs> <laughs> but this one goes back to the scrapbook, goes home, burns it. He goes, I can't do this anymore. Right before he puts it in the fire, he stops. He's like, no! <laughs> but I can't. It's like with Lord of the Rings when he's going to burn the ring. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, my Schmeagle. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the lava, still holding the ring, smiling. <laughs> Dude, yeah. What a Dude, great that's, scene. I mean, that sucks. That I mean, that's the thing about that bit. If you really start to, if you stop and think about what porn is and like how damaged a lot of these girls are and the sex trafficking element of it that goes into it, it's like, yeah, it's foul as fuck. Yeah, that that doc kind of wrecked me for a little bit, man. Yeah. And I know it doesn't have to do with like porn stars because obviously like mm. porn stars, they're in it for the money. They have right. an industry. It's a different market. It's, yeah. it's yeah. a different market, but just so for some reason that, that jumbled in my head and it just reduced. Well, because there is a seedy side of like, of you know. Course. Yeah, it's a seedy right? business. Yeah, it's, of course, it's, of it's, course. it's grimy as shit. And also too, like a lot of women that are in porn are have been sexually abused yeah, or they have yeah, some yeah, yeah, sexually yeah. traumatic things that have happened to them. Dude, I told which you guys is like, are, fuck, that's sad too. If yeah, you say, if you're jerking off, you're like, damn, she probably mm-hmm. got raped when she was five and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah Dude, I can't get that. I no told more. you guys about the, the porn star <laughs> terrible, that I though. had on this podcast that tried yep. to fucking blackmail me. Who? So I, I had I had a guest on this podcast, right? And the reason why I invited her to this podcast is because she was an, an Asian oh, girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I then remember. she tried to fucking blackmail me. And her backstory, when she, when she was, t- I don't know if it's true or not, but it was pretty fucking nuts. And this girl was trying to me too my ass. I was like, girl, you don't even know. You're barking up the wrong tree. I'm asexual as fuck, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy, dude. <laughs> you crazy. You crazy. Fuck, you nuts, dude. I fucking jack off in the shower and pass out. <laughs> You're like, I, I, I already I'm got good. the spank bag. I don't need to hang out with you. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. She didn't know that right when we started, I was like, I need to use the restroom. <laughs> you, <laughs> you got to pee real quick. <laughs> you got the, you got the one out the chamber. sweating at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> So how was that podcast? Was that a good podcast? It was terrible. I ended it early because she was going off on tangents. She was saying crazy shit that it w- it got really fucking uncomfortable. Uh-huh. And the type of questions that I was asking her was so fucking basic. It was like, hey, as an Asian American, like we we both know what it feels like to be, you know, under scrutiny of our parents. It's like it's crazy that you actually got into the adult industry and you have a relationship with your mother or father. And that's what th- these were the things that I was asking. It's like, so how do your parents deal with it? How did you get in this? And then she started messaging like Joe and all these other people saying like, well, how do you feel about your your uh, co-workers? Oh, well, actually, she didn't even say that. She called uh, me his employee. Highly offensive. <laughs> like, um, uh, fucking uh, forcing women to answer uncomfortable questions. I was like. Forcing. Because you had a gun in her head. Yeah. I was like, for you choked on a dick yesterday yeah, on a right. video. I asked you. How do your parents feel about you being in this industry and how did you get in it? <laughs> to be yeah, fair, right. she wasn't choking at all. It was actually quite impressive. So okay. watch your fucking mouth. Yeah. Oh, my right. bad. Watch your fucking take mouth. Like, take like, 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 like a fucking champion, okay? I've never seen a single video of her in porn ever. I just know that she's in the adult industry because I got a message from my friend who's a big fan of her. Didn't she hit you up? She was on a send. No? <laughs> no, we got to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, my bad. My bad. No. Hey. The only reason why is because I don't want to feel this girl's wrath. Yeah. Right? Because she's crazy, dude. I'm talking about so a buddy of mine started finding she stuff. She's gonna find this, bro. She's she gonna, gonna find you, dude. Hey, my, shit. He did she a deep dive in because... finding out about who she is because I was telling him, like, yo, I'm freaking out. But then I was like, hold on a second. It was in an <laughs> office building. There's cameras everywhere. If I yeah. need to get the footage, <clears throat> I had the recorded footage and the audio to show I didn't do anything. Yeah. And I sent her an Uber home right when the podcast ended. Wow. Like your boy is fucking good. Don't nice. you dare. Hell you know? yeah. And so I was like, okay. He starts doing a deep dive on, on she's like on Twitch doing anything for money, non-sexual. Like somebody will write in the comments. 10 jumpy jacks. No, shit like that. It'll be like, get three eggs and crack it over your face. And she goes, okay. <laughs> he cracks hey, three eggs on her head. You can make money doing that? Yay. Wow. You could make money do doing shit, anything. I, I got some eggs at the house. Hey, who wants to open those? up an OnlyFans right now? Yeah, and do just it, bro. Start cracking eggs on my head. Do it, yeah. Do just do shit. silly shit like that. Yeah. I, be, I bet you would make money. Put baby powder in my butthole. You know yeah, I mean? do that shit. Yeah, it's an aversion to success, though. You don't like bro, success. Do it. Yeah. Anything. Anytime I was by myself, I'm just like, yeah, I'm cool, bro. That's how I feel. Yeah. yeah. You're such a fucking loser, man. I hate you so much. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm working on it, though. I'm, it's, it's a process. <laughs> I'm learning, and I'm working on it. Nice. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
gonna start crying. Yeah. Fucking all you do is stutter and be a loser all day. <laughs> that is kind of my MO. Bro, bro. I, be, I do be stuttering. I'd sometimes. watch your OnlyFans, honestly. I would. Yeah, right. What would you do on your OnlyFans? Silly shit like that? I would laugh. Nothing. I wouldn't do Just anything. Just a sailor boat. I'd like, set it up and then not do it. I wouldn't do it, probably. That's that's kind of my MO. You're fucking dumb, dude. And I'd just be like, I don't like this shit. And I just won't do it. You know I what? I can't even post stories on my Instagram, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what the crazy thing is? Before this podcast started, I had a very clear objective and I forgot what we were going to talk about. We're going to talk about right Oh, Gary Owens. Gary Owens. <laughs> Gary Owens. <laughs> Gary Owens. Gary Owens and Bunch of horny dudes got hyped right up that. about porn. We talked about porn nah, for that's, six that story, hours right now. That story was very good, though. It was. Patrick, you know, I appreciate Patrick for sharing that with us. Something Amen. very intimate that he does in his long time with all the Genius Brain listeners at home. I appreciate that. Yeah. I it actually off. changed you our friendship forever. Weirdo. This is how I, how <laughs> you I fucking beat disgusting <laughs> pig. Yeah, dude. Yeah, don't <laughs> judge, bro. I, okay? I want to know about you passing out in the shower with the hot showers and beating off. I thought that that's what happens to everybody. So you're in there like, and you're like, you got to well, well, sit would, down. Well, hold on. You got to sit down. Who have you asked? Huh? Who have you asked about this? I didn't ask anybody. I just assumed, that, <laughs> I just assumed, that, I just assumed that's normal. Do you yeah. sit down to prepare yourself for the fall? Or no. You, so like it happened once when I was in high school. Did right? you did you pass out or you it caught like, yourself like, whoa, whoa. Like I was jacking off in the shower and I take very hot showers. And then I was on my tippy toes. So I was trying to nut real fast. Hey, I feel that. Hey, you know what that, it is? Bro. It's my dad got, yeah. you know, I told the story on here before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a cramp one time. And I actually like pulled a muscle in my calf. You my, pulled a muscle. Yeah, my jerking dad, off. Yeah, my when I was like, I was like in, uh, I was in eighth grade, bro. Your boy beating his meat. God my, damn! How my, hard were you jerking off? You pulled a fucking muscle. Hey, bro, my my calves weren't very like they weren't very strong. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I eyes. tore my calf and shit. Jesus. Yeah, uh, and then my dad like saw me limping around the house, and he just like just very <laughs> quietly and stoically just said. Nick, you gotta you gotta stop masturbating so much. And I'm like, what, Dad? What are you talking about? And I just ran back in my room. And I How did he gather that from you just having a hurt leg? He did hey, it before he's a, too. He's a <laughs> dun, bro. He's a dun. Clearly, he's done it multiple times. He goes, "That's a dun genetic trait. It's bro. called a masturbation calf cramp." Yeah, like, we, got, we got, the duns have weak calves. You jerked off so hard you injured yourself. Legitimately. Hey, it sounds like you don't jerk off hard enough. My I guess guy. so. Oh, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. Maybe you, I mean, hey, maybe you're his you dad. step up I your know, game, bro. I don't know what's going on, All bro. I pictured was his dad. He brings out this old dusty book of just like <laughs> hey, all the duns. <laughs> all the duns. He goes, this has been in our family for years. <laughs> he opens it up and it's just the calf cramp diagram. <laughs> this family is tree. our Achilles heel. <laughs> right here. All He's your grandparents. In the shower. Your grandfather's like, oh. Your yeah. like, oh. It's like a drawing of somebody. Grandfather <laughs> Methuselah Dunn. <laughs> Methuselah. <laughs> Methuselah Dunn cramped his calf in the Great War of 1812. It's like a caveman drawing. One of them is like, oh! <laughs> That's you, Doc. That's us. That's our lineage. <laughs> in the caveman drawing is his dad going, stop jacking on so hard. <laughs> Perfect. He saw a son flying too close to the sun. Yeah, yo. Yeah. And he goes, yo, Ooh, dude. I, gotta, I gotta nip this in the fucking butt. Yeah, you're modern day but, Icarus, baby. You're but guess what? Guess what? Didn't work, bro. Yeah. Your boy was still beating his meat Ooh. all the I time. I can't believe you you calfed your crap. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> you <laughs> crapped <laughs> your calf. So yeah. and to the point where you pulled a muscle, yeah, bro. Damn. It's a lifestyle, dog. So not, you it's not like, for everybody. You not were like, everyone could be a Jedi, dog. You I'm were, sorry. You were sitting down or standing up, dog. Who sits down in the shower and beats? Oh, off? you were in the shower. So you that were you were like. Fucking. You I were like, like ah, I was trying to get this nut. You ever bro. see Michael Jackson go up like completely? Like you, <laughs> were, like you were like you were like past that. You had to go past that yeah. point. I was on like the front side of my ankles. My ankles were bending backwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Gumby, dude. Yeah, I, yo, I saw Michael Jackson do that and be like, that's humanly impossible. Yeah. No one could go past this point. But you actually, you actually did, did it that shit. and paid the price. Yeah. I you ever see Michael Jackson where he goes over his toes like this? Like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is he- his heels on the ground. Yeah, he yeah. might be doing that too. And yeah. he stopped himself with his dick. He's on the wall, <laughs> bing, and then he came. I just remember being on. I just remember to the beat. Hey, that should be a fun game. Yeah, what? put on put yeah. on a song. <laughs> yeah. put on a song, and then just you know go to the strokes and the rhythm. You're a loser. That. How about that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but we're yeah. talking about your fucking porn yeah, collage. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? This guy just talked about porn collage. I'm just trying to add to it. It's just called self care, bitch. 
<laughs> Yo, stop, trying to, never stop trying to make this a game. 2021. Bro. Nah, yeah, because he's pussy, bro. He don't. He don't. He it's don't because he prep before you work out. Do you stretch? I strive yeah, warm up. Right. You're right. You you I treat myself. It's yeah. a treat. I gotta do some jumping jacks and, and shit. Everybody passes out when they jack off and take a hot shower. Everybody. Mm. This well, is right in the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube, how many of you guys passed out? Everyone's about to. David's got bungee cords in the fucking showers. He passes out. He's like, oh. These look like Pinocchio. Just uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mario walks in. I'm just saying, I'm hanging like this. When David passes out, a siren goes off in the house, and she's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> she has to go in the bathroom and say, "She knows David. the routine again." <laughs> <laughs> Dick's still coming. Yeah. But we'll at least get into the topic. I fucking forgot. It's still coming. It's Dick's everywhere. Still coming, bro. She's like, "Oh god, David." Oh, it smells like bleach and shit. Oh shit. <laughs> So, guys, if you guys don't know, Gary Owens, Gary a Owens. very famous comic. <laughs> That's crazy. That was literally 50 minutes of masturbation time. <laughs> but <laughs> fucking the craziest podcast I've ever done in my life, dude. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is what the people want to hear. This is, this is the normal man stuff it that people turn, need to hear. Yeah, you know? It's in us. It's I've in lost us. It's all my female out. subscribers from this. Okay, Either sorry. that or I them. But Gary Owens I recently... During movies. Sorry, go ahead. Recently got divorced. And she, she, he came on to the Wendy Owens show. Do you think he has a masturbation problem? Is that why? Oh, a hundred percent, he does, dude. I'm pretty sure he he's so pale and white that when he masturbates, he just turns cherry red. A hundred percent, dude. Yeah, yeah, I can he's see that. passing out in the shower with me, and yeah. we're both dangling on yeah. bunch of cords. <laughs> hey, Gary Owens, hit me up. Let's jack off together. <laughs> yeah, so he goes on the Wendy w Williams show, and in the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen, Wendy oh, Williams is literally shooting her fucking shot at him over and over, over and, and over. Damn, over. like relax, bitch. Super yeah. fucking it uncomfortable. Easy. Talking about the first time she ever saw him on set, she was like, "That's the man that I'm trying to be with." If we were both single, and guess what? They actually got caught on a date. They oh, so yeah, he, took, he took her up on the date. Which yeah, I didn't think he falling. was because he looked uncomfortable. He did look very uncomfortable. I didn't think that was going to happen. I didn't think so. He's got either. a great smile, that guy. He's very charming. He's, guy. I feel like he could do better, you know? Mm. So you're not a fan of Wendy Williams, though. I mean, she's, I don't know her really, but I just feel like looking at that guy, I feel like he could do, do you, better. Wait, you don't know her? You haven't heard of Fartgate? <laughs> Bro. Oh, she farted, no? Dude, what? <laughs> so Wendy Ooh. Williams has a reputation <laughs> of farting? Fucking farting on the show, and she keeps vehemently denying it. Like like uh, like you hear the farts or it's just bro, smelly and people are like no Fuck. like it's so loud <laughs> like, her Jesus. lav mic is on her chest and it picked up the audio oh my god like that loud like there's this video clip of her just moving aside and you just hear it. Wow. and then she just you could tell two she, different sounds bro she she knew she farted and she just starts continuing this conversation professional but True everybody's professional. like yeah, bro you, you clearly farted and so but she does another episode denying she goes if I farted I would have just she owned up to it. <laughs> Like, bitch, she did an episode about it? She did a whole episode about how she didn't fart. Bro. And clearly she farted. She did it twice. There was another episode where she burped in the fart right after talk. <laughs> uh, uh, she, tried to, she tried to cover it up. Bro, yeah. what is that, bitch? And then she keeps denying that she's farting on the show. It's like, bitch, you farting. This is a walking fart, Have you ever tried to cover up your uh, fart hey. with a cough? Yo, nah. let me tell you something. I sneezed and farted, and that's pretty embarrassing. I just fart and will leave. Yo, shout, <laughs> shout out to, to fucking this girl named Mishal in high school. Mishal. Mishal, in the gym. baby. In the morning, okay, in the morning, when you, we had PE, and it's obviously in the AM, right? It's like 7 AM in the fucking morning. Dude, farts are just always funny, though. Dude, the best. we would always start. <laughs> this wall, dude. It's just, hey, <laughs> we would start. <laughs> We would fucking start in the morning doing stretches, right? Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, bro, doing stretches in the morning. And this fucking bitch would not start be farting in the morning, dude, doing sit-ups. <laughs> sit-ups on yo, each one? Yo, that's hey. my favorite thing ever. No, this girl, her name was Michelle. I'm only going to give her first name because how embarrassing it was. Michelle. And I mean, she was how a, many Michelles are there? That you know? Yeah, there's a lot, of, there's a lot in Is India. Is she French? She no, she's she's Indian. Mm. She's a little rotund Indian girl, a little <clears throat> awkward, right? Mm. And so we're all doing sit-ups in the morning. <laughs> Everybody's doing sit-ups. It's Best. in it's in the fucking basketball court, the gymnasium. So it echoes. Yes, bro. <laughs> it echoes. 
the worst. It's 7 a.m. Mm. Everybody's quiet. It's fucking quiet as That's a mouse. That's the most mortifying thing All ever, you, though, as a kid, yo, like as a teenager. Bro, I'm talking about pure. As a girl? Oh, my God. In front of your whole class? Dude, hilarious. Flatulence. I'm talking about somebody could record oh. that and sold it as ADR. Oh. That's how loud, how wow. perfect of a fart it was. And it should. <laughs> like that. Dude. She let <laughs> everybody. Oh, boy. is. <laughs> Busted up laughing, and then the PE teacher who's running it is like, everybody be quiet. He had a southern accent. Yeah. He's like, everybody be quiet. Flatulence is normal. He starts cracking up. Just he's like, flatulence is normal. And he's crying <laughs> laughing, trying oh to defend God. this girl. Wow. And he's making everybody laugh because he's yelling at us, but he's laughing at the same time. It's true. Bro, farts are always They're funny. funny. They're, They're always funny. funny. You can't deny the fucking They're laughter funny. fart, dude. They're funny. I don't even try to hide them anymore. I don't even I don't even try to hide them. I, I know because you'd be reading books at a coffee shop in the public like a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Licks. He <laughs> licks his fingers before he turns the page. <laughs> 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 Bro, how did you? Why did we go there, dude? Oh, like, yeah. Because I, I saw him fucking reading with a monocle, like fuck, he's Mr. Monopoly guy. And he reads it up here like this. Mm, yeah. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> it was a warm, sunny day in <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh Can you please God, stop dude. narrating your what? book? Dude, I was so disappointed in this dude, man. I'm like, yeah, could that you read a, a bad book moment. any harder, dude? Dude, fucking have, that was a bad moment. Have I was a embarrassed. laptop out and have a screenplay. Do that yes. instead. <sighs> Do that instead, bro. No, that's, I, I feel like that's worse. Having the screenplay out at a coffee shop is, I think, worse than You know what the sad thing is? Is because There's I'm clearly doing, like, toxic masculinity shit. I want to read a book, too, in public. Now I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't no, do no, it. You can't even gotta you sit can. under a tree somewhere. You bro. can. You're just gonna feel like me. You're just gonna hope that you don't run into anybody you yeah. know, and you're gonna kind of feel kind of like a bitch at, for a second, and then you'll be like, ah, you know, fuck. What book bitch. were you reading? I don't remember. Nah, you remember? I don't remember. I don't remember. A walk like to a remember, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doctor Seuss, bro. Green eggs and ham is what I was thinking. Yeah, right. Oh, interesting. Yes, <laughs> this, yes. Is, this is Sam. I am yeah, green eggs and this ham. This is fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. The fucking... green eggs. They're spoiled, but he continues to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. He turns into Morgan Freeman. I know. Yeah. Salted ham. Salted ham. <laughs> salted ham. Salted ham. <laughs> They're in the Bible, dog. I'm just trying yeah. to connect with Jesus, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, dude, if you read the Bible yeah, yeah, out in public, tight. bro, dude, I would fuck it. What if you, be, wow, that'd be aggressive. What if you're reading a book about Dianetics in public? Dude, that would be weird as shit. That'd be weird as My fuck. My man was reading the Quran, dude. The Quran. That's dog. okay. I think that's fine. The Quran? Why? Yeah. You think that's cool? Yeah, it was, it'd, it'd be cool. weird. Oh, nah, I don't think it'd be, be like, weird at all. Reading the Did Quran? you guys see that fucking footage? <laughs> of when? Some people, hey, you know, it's, it's like the Bible for some people. You know? Yeah, but like at, the, at a car. Like, Have you ever seen the Bible? What? You ever see a Bible before? Leatherbound, bro. Come on. What's oh, a what, what next kind of, book? What kind next of, book. What kind of paper do they use for the Bible? Because that paper I've never it's, seen it's on any papers. other. It's straight from God. It's it's joints. Joints. Oh, it could it's be joints. the thinnest paper I've ever seen in my life. Where dude. does this paper? Where is this paper produced in nature? It's probably so cheap. Actually, no, it's not. That's proof. Angel that, feathers, dude. Yeah, that's what it's made out of. Proof that God is real. That's true because you you don't see that type of paper in anything else ever. Do you think it's in the Quran? No, I'm sure the Quran is very thick too. No. I don't know. I've never, I've never seen a Quran ever in my me life. Neither. Yeah, me neither. Actually. Oh, maybe I should buy one just to see what's up. Yeah, you're just gonna buy one, just have it, and then read it at the coffee shop that you were reading. It yeah, at. Yeah, 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 across from me. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you're reading a book. Watch this. It's this <laughs> thick ass book, this big. I'm gonna get the first Quran ever. Yeah. <laughs> Show that in your fucking pocket. Scroll yeah, is right fucking... there, dude. But when he went, so the funny thing about Wendy Williams, right? There was actually another scandal that happened. Big Quran reader. Fan. Yeah, she loves the Quran. Loves by the way, the so years ago, Carter. Method Man. And her had beef since like 2006 or Bro, some shit. What how? A, what a, how random is that? Like that Method Man, who's like this hard ass rapper, got a beef with Chow a talk Lynn. show host. Wendy Williams. Yeah. So because all. so Wendy Williams has a habit of fucking opening her mouth and saying shit that she shouldn't say. So with that type of shit, and you know, at the time too, I think she was relatively new, and she, you know, she's trying to say all this inside scoop shit to tell people this information so she can get good ratings on her show. So she leaked out that Method Man's wife had cancer. And Method Man did not want anybody to know that her wife had cancer because he started getting messages out of nowhere like, yo, I, I heard about your, your wife having cancer. And the one thing his he asked his wife asked of him was not to mention this to anybody because she didn't want to feel like she's a charity case. Yeah. So everybody in their neighborhood found out and wow. then they were like giving her condolences and it was like her worst nightmare ever. And so he's on this interview and That's Method foul. Man is calling her a punk ass bitch. Like this fucking pussy. He's like cursing out. He goes, yeah, fucking Wendy Williams over here telling my fucking business where I'm from. You do that shit, you get fucking murked, you fucking bitch ass pussy. Hey, yo, what if he killed Wendy Williams over that? 
Dude, that'd be kind of tight. So recently, she was on a respect. radio show. <laughs> respect. She was on a radio show, and then she's she said this rumor that somebody asked her. She was like, "Oh yeah, so me and Method, like back in the day, we were hooking up, <gasps> saying that he was cheating on his fucking wife who had cancer." But it's not true, though, right? No, he's denying it, and his wife's like, "Fuck this bitch! No way!" That's he crazy. Should, he should be able to whoop her ass. Yeah, you sh- bro. Like, I think legally, he should be able to. Fuck because her. dog, how frustrating is that? That's some Hell other yeah. lady who. You, especially for him, I'm sure is like, yo, I do not want to have sex with you, bro. Yeah, and then right. for you to be publicly telling people while you're married that you used to fuck and was cheating on your wife, bro. When she had cancer. Dog, I'm and you fighting the, you, bro. Yeah, that's a fight. I'm fighting you. I don't care if you're a girl. If you do that shit, I'm going to fight you, dog. That's legal. That should be a legal ass with Because, me. you know why? Because wifey at home is in that ass. She's like, she's making your life hell exactly. over some bullshit. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And it's such yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and not just that, it hurts his fucking wife. He has to see his wife be like upset about mm-hmm. this shit. Yeah, no, of course. Like, what the fuck? It's, bro? it's a it's really bad on all sides. It's just a really nah, weird a, situation. I'm like, what's what what the fuck is wrong with you, lady? That's crazy. Yeah, what a crazy bitch. She looks like fucking. Why did Kermit Gary the always go too? out with this bitch? She's it's, gross as fuck. I think his like standard for women is like they just gotta be fucking black <laughs> American. <laughs> yeah, 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 you think it. he just did that for optics? Maybe. Because it is like, oh, yeah, okay, we can go out for a day, but Maybe I'm not really I, feeling it. Maybe to piss off his uh, ex-wife. Oh, But it, it's like with Wendy Williams? Hey, That's what you, like you got bro. against fucking Kermit the Frog. Bro. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like Wendy Williams, bro? She looks like Kermit saying, the Frog and Miss Piggy combined. At the same the time. Yeah. Is she the, the lady that like passed out on TV one time? Yes, that is oh. her. She actually has Trump great... She has great... <laughs> yeah, she <was> like, all <laughs> her fucking... <laughs> Her blood, her pH levels dropped. She's from her all fucking C three vertebrae went out, dude. <laughs> I don't know where she was like. Ugh. She farted so hard her neck went yeah. out, dude. She, she was actually uh, jerking off in the shower prior. To that, and then, yeah, I'm never sharing out. anything with you guys <laughs> ever, dude. Uh, I thought that we could connect on it, and now I'm being made fun of. Whatever, dude. Fuck it. Yeah, that's this guy, bro. Hey, don't tell this guy fucking anything. Hey, man. You made fun of me for reading the coffee shop. <laughs> you made fun of me for her. education. <laughs> and for crying for Brandon Moreno, dude. Hey, Adorable. It's a little fucking soft, though. Am I yeah, right, guys? I legit, mean, shit. Bro. That dude's she actually has cute. Graves' disease. What the fuck What's is that? that? It's that's a thyroid made problem. That's made up. <laughs> yeah, you just made that up. <laughs> oh, I'm a tight-ass <laughs> name, though, huh? She has Graves', uh, Graves disease. It's like a thyroid issue. Mm. So either you have to fix it through surgery or medication oh, or something like that. But that's the reason why she has big old fucking eyes that bulge out. One of the side effects, possible side effects of having Graves' disease is disease, disease is when your eyes pop out. So Turns she always looks pug. like she's surprised all the time. Damn. She looks like a pug, dude. This. <laughs> Damn, yeah, bro. It's, 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 she has plastic slowly. surgery, though, right? Because her oh, face yeah. is kind oh, of crazy. Sure she's a mess. Yeah. Yeah. So Tiff, show me a, a picture of uh, one of the Jenners, the uh, Kardashian ones. The, the one that got a bunch of plastic surgery. Kim Kardashian. No, Caitlyn no. Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. No, not Caitlyn. Kylie Jenner. Kylie, is she the one that married to Travis Scott? That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She showed me a picture of her face. Crazy. Dog, it got even worse. Like, she's doing more plastic surgery. It looks like it looks like a mask on top of her regular face. It's, it's an addiction, though. It's a straight addiction. Oh. It's an addiction. <laughs> oh, oh, no more alcohol. It, it's oh. an addiction, though. Yeah. Like, once you... Here, here's the thing. Like, we've talked about plastic surgery on this podcast before, and the consistent argument for plastic surgery is it's my body i have a limited time on this earth why can't i do it what i want it's nobody gives a fuck what you really do with your face yeah, it's just a to- it's just a topic of like once you get something done it's non-stop you're trying to prevent mm. something that you cannot prevent it yeah. fucks with you psychologically yeah we have not seen it the other way around yeah because once you accept it and you understand what's happening then you'd be like, okay, cool. It's natural. I'm part of it. You know, you could feel some type of way about getting older, having wrinkles and stuff like that. You're going to get old. Right. And this is idea and of like wanting to always be fuckable. Why? Yeah. Who the fuck cares? You're getting old. Well, it's just, it's just, it shows how blatantly like insecure you are. It's like really you went to that length to cover this up or cover that. You couldn't just accept who the fuck you are. Yeah. Like really. Because you heard about, you heard about the, uh, the Chloe Kardashian thing, right? Where she, Somebody leaked a picture of her in a bikini, and she it wasn't oh, yeah. like oh that's right optimal. It wasn't perfect. <sighs> it's not how I really look. Yeah. And then she went on Instagram and was like, "This is what I really look like," and it's a bunch of videos and like Who it's cares? like look, bro, the picture that got leaked wasn't that bad like you don't look like a terrible like she looked fine she and also totally who fine. gives a fuck exactly and especially too she's like. You know all these people are holding me to an unfair beauty standard yada 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 and it's like dog. The Kardashians might be the most influential like family 
in modern day how or people standards. dress, yeah. how people look, the plastic surgery. Like right. you go to West Hollywood or anywhere in that like like we went to the Century City Mall, all the girls that are there look like them. They look, like look them. exactly like them. How crazy is that? Like the big but, lips, like the like, But that's the look, look at the hypocrisy in that statement. She goes, "You guys hold me to an unfair beauty standard. You're the one who got plastic surgery. You you are the blueprint. Yeah. So what are you talking about? You set about? the standard. Yeah, yeah, you set the standard. And then she wants to act like, <clears throat> I'm sure she trains. I'm sure she does all the fitness stuff. I'm sure. But for her to get all these body implants and then claim that she's like natural is like, come Why? on, bro, stop. Like, what? don't do that to yourself. Yeah, that's bullshit. Because yeah. people would fuck with you even harder if you were just like, look, yeah, I got some blood implants. I got some, you know, I got Listen, some work if, done. if you want to do all that stuff and, and, and it makes you happy, I'm not here to tell you what to do with your life. I personally don't give a fuck, right? Yeah. But I, I maybe it's because I live in this city and I see it happen so much and I'm, I've known people. They're not my friends, but I've known them and I've seen them consistently. Whenever we see each other, they're getting new things done. They still complain about their face. They still complain that something is sagging. And every time they look weirder and weirder and weirder because exactly. they're trying to hold on to something that's fleeting. You are going to get Old. Yeah, that's right. a fact. That's it's just what it to, is. Yeah, and you're focusing on stuff that doesn't even develop yourself as a human being. Yeah, I'm not talking pe about people who have like certain cosmetic issues, like they were born with like a weird nose. Yeah, yeah, that's no, that's different. exactly that's what you're different. talking about. Yeah, he, off camera, that's who David was yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah, exactly. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> you calf cramping bitch. I just Wendy Williams you, bro. I just started some shit. That's Wendy. how it starts, bro. Yeah. Oh, really? Fart gate. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm doing it, baby. Hey, you don't you know clap me like that, boy. That's literally clap booty back. clap back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's her catchphrase, bro. That's yeah. her catchphrase. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, what guy? What was that? Oh, I just had a stroke. <laughs> Hold on, don't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah that bro. Graves disease, baby. Oh, in man. Man. Hey, bro. Hey, thyroid issues are real, man. <laughs> bro. Hey, but anyway, He made that shit up. This right. <laughs> It's that shit ain't real. <laughs> it's real. There's Patrick people don't believe it. He's a non-believer, bro. Hey, it's non thyroid it. issues, man. People complain about how COVID's not real. This guy's complaining about how Graves' disease Ooh, whatever is Whatever Graves' real. disease is. This guy man. don't know nothing. I don't know nothing dude. about Graves' disease. because will be too busy man. crying to fucking hear people out. <laughs> how about that? How about that? How about that? <laughs> yeah. Well, bro. guys, you could catch Nick the Ear at <laughs> Nick the fucking Ear. That's Nick the Ear dot com. Instagram, Nick the Ear. Uh, you that's have like a fucking that's a good like uh, production. That's right. Bang. Patrick. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I'll carry on now. Okay. <laughs> that's the catchphrase for Jesus Brand. That's right. Okay. okay. Uh, good morning, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I just make gumbo all day. Uh, Patrick.T.Riley on Erathine. You can see him on the comedy clubs, on the circuit, making people ha ha ha, giggle, giggle, giggle. Y'all know what giggle, it is. Giggle, giggle. Thursdays and Sundays, Genius Brain, every time. See y'all next time. Thank you. Yeah.